you. Hey, look, there's bananas on your shirt. It's October 15th. Brooke just started the day by going to the grocery store. I got those twins. Burps. Even got when those we're burps. not wearing Walk and Love, we're twinning. Shout out to Fresh Life Montana. This is the Montana song. We're cowboys <laughs> and we like to sing along. Girls today, I'm gonna start a fermented bread starter. Pate formente is what it's called. And then uh, from that base, you can. You're all done? From that base, I'll be able to make more stuff. I haven't been filming much today because we got a little sick kiddo here who's sniffling and snuffling. Is that a word? Snuffle up, I guess. That's a word. Brooks home. We've been chatting, but yeah. Poor little Sonny, not feeling great. Happy Monday to you all. First, a little bit of housekeeping. We will be doing these daily life shows Monday through Thursday uh, for the time being, just because we need to have a little bit more structure to them and understand how much we need to record and stuff. And it was giving Brooke the swirlies. So uh, we decided on Monday through Thursday uh, from now on, and we might change that in the future, but for the, for the foreseeable future, uh, we're gonna do Monday through Thursday. My actual final thoughts for today are, there's a verse in the Bible, John 10, 10, which is actually one of my brother's favorite verses. And I'm reminded of it every October 10th because it's 10, 10. Um, it says, the thief comes to kill, steal and destroy. And I have come that you may, may have life and life to the full. And uh, I often sometimes, well, not often, the way that the thief comes to steal, kill and destroy for me is to make me feel like I'm unwanted, that people don't actually like me, that people don't want to include me. And I was feeling that today in like a very real way. Um, <clears throat> and so I didn't record very much and I was just sort of feeling like, Ugh, what, like, does any of it matter? Does any of this matter? Should I just delete every account that I have and stop posting anything? And, and, and honestly, I think that's what the thief would want. I think he'd want me to stop doing that. Um, because I know from some of the comments that I see that, that I'm having a positive impact on people's lives and that people are being encouraged and inspired to be better husbands and better dads and more joyful. And, and so you might know the specific ways. And I actually didn't know that that was a specific way that the thief would steal and destroy me. But Brooke actually pointed out to me because she's a loving wife. She's right over there. Um, and, uh, and it made me very aware of it. And so anytime I feel that sort of coming on me, I, I kind of have to remind myself that no, Jesus came so that I could have a full life, not this life. This is the life the thief wants. And, and I'm going to choose to battle against that, whether it's in my heart or my mind, I'm going to battle against that. And, and, and so today I had, I had sort of that internal struggle going on. And, and so I, my final thoughts and my encouragement to you would be to, to identify the ways that the thief comes to kill, steal, and destroy from you so that when you feel them happening, you can call them out for what they're, they are and you can proclaim that Jesus has come, that I may have life and may have it to the full. Um, and I had to proclaim that today many times um, because I was definitely just feeling it. Um, so those are my final thoughts. Hope you guys had a better Monday than I did, although it has improved because of those proclamations. So we'll see you guys tomorrow.